Hi everybody, my name is Dylan. I'm a student uh, physical therapist here at Align Therapy uh, doing a clinical rotation for another week and I wanted to share some uh, information on a new article that came out recently about uh, hyperkyphosis. Uh, and just so we all know, hyperkyphosis is when you have a larger than normal curve in your, in your thoracic spine or where your ribs are. So not in your neck and your lumbar, but right in between. And that, you, that degree is usually around uh, greater than 50. Um, and the article that I wanted to look at and tell you guys about is, looks at the long-term effect of posture training and kyphosis-specific exercises uh, for older age uh, individuals on their hyperkyphotic kyphotic curves. Um, so for this article, they took about 43 men and women equally, and they put them through three months of uh, these interventions that I talked about. So like the, the posture one, like kind of similar to Schroth, um, and then kyphosis specific ones trying to have them uh, kind of bring their posture backwards more than forwards. And after three months of that training, they found that on average, the individuals decreased their curve about three degrees. And then and when they looked at a long-term follow-up, so a follow-up about three years, they found that that curve uh, still was decreased and they had a decrease about 1.5 degrees. Uh, is that significant? It's kind of hard to tell, but at least shows something. Um, so why does this matter and what is it? what, what difference does it make? Um, so as we know, kyphosis, especially in the in older age individuals, progresses fairly rapidly, especially after 70. And with kyphosis could come some pain and tightness in certain positions. It doesn't always, but it's, uh, it's totally a possibility. And what this article shows is that short term, uh, that it is kind of, it is possible to have a decrease in that curve or to slow down. Uh, this also aligns with some uh, past research that was done in 2017 where they looked at the differences between general exercise, like just general strengthening of core, to like Schroth type exercises. And they found that the Schroth type exercises actually did uh, better and had a, a larger decrease in that uh, kyphotic curve short term. Now long term, this is where it gets a little difficult. It's the only research that I found on this in uh, individuals that are older. So it's kind of hard to say whether these uh, specific interventions can hold for that long. And with the only a change of 1.5 degrees, that's kind of negligible. But what it does say though, is that it is possible to slow down that progression or even halt that progression. And which is significant, um, especially as we age. And if you guys have any questions about uh, what we talked about today, uh, just leave a comment. Uh, you can leave your question in the comments, or you can uh, hit up Align Therapy, and they would be more than welcome to answer your questions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you.